What's up guys on the Fringe Golf here, Zach and Justin. If you're new to the channel, uh, we're here to provide some fun and entertaining golf content while being a little on the fringe about it. We are always having fun, man. That's our thing. So today, thousand dollar match. Big money. I, I don't have a thousand dollars. Well, you better win, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess I better. <laughs> so we're playing a thousand dollar match on a ten dollar golf course. Um, this should be interesting. Uh, we were told there's a hole number three was torn up by some feral hogs. So I think they meant us. Yeah, we're, we're the hogs. We're right. going to tear that shit up. So You know uh, what? Um, <laughs> I'm expecting tens on the greens, you know, lush fairways um, and flat tee boxes. Should be great. So uh, let's see what happens. Big money game. Uh, Justin's going to drop $1,000 and go bankrupt today. Hey, you know what? My wife's gonna hate me after this, but it's all good. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, brother. Hole number one, numero uno. Um, not much of a fairway. It's pretty tight. Don't miss left. Um, you'll hit it into the creek over there. So uh, no pressure coming out of the gate with no warm up because there's no driving range, of course. Oh, and I went left. I, mm. This is surprisingly a tight shot. I mean, yeah, this probably looks like the most narrow fairway I've ever seen. Uh, but the door's open because uh, Zach hit his OB. So here we go. Not sure what's over there. Wait, is that the f flag, the blue one? What is this, a par five? <laughs> that looks pretty far. Uh, it's looking right, too. We'll see what's over there. All right, so uh, we both didn't get off to a good start, but one thing we forgot to mention is handicaps. Okay, there is a difference. We can't play straight up. That's not fair, so we got to uh, use our handicaps to kind of level the playing field, right? So, uh, Zach, how many strokes do you get? Do you know? Well, I'm a seven. And I'm a one. So that's six. Um, do so we do 80%? We'll do five. five. Five strokes it is. Five strokes. And uh, $1,000 on the line. Let's go. That's curving back. Okay, kicked up dust in front of the green, so we should be okay. <laughs> How furry are they, Justin? Oh, wow, that's a heck of a plug in the hole. Oh, oh. Close. very nice. On the way, looking decent. Ooh. Oh, oh, was it gonna oh, leave oh. it short? Oh, my. Oh, I can get the tee in the ground. That's a plus. Catch it, tree. Catch it. Catch it. Looks like it opens up over there. But... I think what I love most is when Justin said, I can actually get the tee in the ground. That's cool. <laughs> so I'm one down. Got to turn it around here. Let's go. Doors open. That should be okay there. Yep. Oh, bad kick. We'll have to see what the trees have for us up ahead. So if you're a fan of disc golf, um, we have a disc golf course incorporated with our $10 golf course, which is just kind of apropos for what we're doing here. Um, so I ended up in a good spot. Justin did find his golf ball, but it's in a, not a great spot over there. So this is an opportunity for me to win a hole here. Got to convert. Oh, greens are hard pan. There's no stopping on these bad boys. So I know that for the next hole, I guess. Uh, but all I have is a punch out. Hopefully I don't hit my camera.
That's perfect. Landing on that nice dirt cart path that they got there. So as you can see, I have a, uh, there's a bunker right in front of the flag. Um, I don't know if I want to carry it or what, but here we go. Hey, not bad. I rolled it through the bunker, not bad. Oh, this is that bunker that I was telling you about that I had to carry. All right, so Zach just off the fringe. Oh, might have chunked it a little. I think it might be still his turn there. I've never seen a green like this. I mean, there's three bunkers integrated into the putting surface. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. It's playing a game of Plinko. Yeah, definitely like putting on a gravel road. Um, it looks like it's gonna go about three directions. Oh, he sent it. I sent it. Well, is this good for good? Good, good. All right, we'll call it good, good. good hey, good. Uh, by the way, Justin, what way is the grain going here? I'm um, just looking at the hole. Well, <laughs> it looks like it's going all the directions. It's going that way. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me get that again, camera. Oh, that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the green is 270. I, I mean, I gotta be aggressive here. Got $1,000 on the line. I want to make Justin bankrupt. So we're going for it, let's go. Oh, that could be OB left. We saw some white stakes up there and we thought that it was OB, but it's actually not. That was just a 150 marker. I told Zach he can drop up here anyways, but that would be the correct rule regardless because that is a, a hazard, okay? So he'll be dropping and hitting three, all right? Um, and I got about 80 yards. Probably gotta land this 65 because nothing's holding. Going a little left and short. 65 wasn't the play at all. So I love this course. Um, I, maybe I shouldn't be so aggressive. Anyways, got to drop here. This is going to be my chance to up and in for par. Uh, Justin had to hit it out of the bunker slash fairway and he should end up a little short. So the gate is open. Oh, and I left it short too. Man, it ran out. I believe this is the um, hogs that did this? I don't know. We're just out here having a good time. All right. So, I mean, hey, look, number three is, is, is not that bad. It's like number one and two. So. <laughs> Can we still put this hole on any golf course we've played? I think so. Top five, definitely. Yeah. By far. Oh, that's going to run up. Oh, oh, you got some stick -em on that. I had some. Oh, man. <laughs> I had some bite. <laughs> so after my last stellar wedge shot, here comes another stellar wedge shot. Oh, it's got to sit. So that is going to be off the bat. I can't figure these greens out. So Zach, you going to carry that bunker? Or are you going to go through it? What are I you going to do? I'm going to land it in it. Well, hey, yeah, that, that might be it. Dye it a little bit. Let it trickle to the hole. Oh, carried it a little far. Well, got about uh, eight feet, maybe. Oh, Ooh. man. I guess I'll give that to you, sir. Oh, well, thank you. Ooh. Wow. I'm going to go with the grain took that one. Yeah. That's the what grain. I think. It's the grain. So, I don't know what the clubhouse was talking about. This course is getting better and better. I mean, it... The green checked. I mean, I would put some sauce on that thing. So, um, this course is getting better and better as we go. And I think it's going to get even better. Stay tuned to find out, though. Uh, 140 yard par three. Here we go. Uh, if we're playing straight up, I would be up too, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to assume it's even. Here we go. We got another green side bunker. I don't know if you guys can see it on the left side there, but. Oh. 
right at the bunker. A little short. So there's a tree in the middle of the fairway here that we have to go over on the par three that's 140 yards. So whatever. I like the course design. Oh. That's not a good spot. Definitely not. That's not a good spot. Definitely not. Yikes. Uh, not a good tee shot. Let's get up and in for par. Run up. Ah, died in the bunker. They found the only spot on the green you could put a flag. That's pretty damn good, sir. Hey, I'll take that. Anything. Zach asked me to mark it because he's about to chip this sucker in. Ooh. All right, who's seen that sauce? I've seen it. Ooh. Look at the break on that thing. For those of them who don't believe in grain, Zach oh, just experienced it's for real. it. It's for real. I'll finally make Justin putt one out today. Who knows? Maybe it'll kick a rock or something. Here. I'm going to need my putter. Oh. Here, have a sick putter. Oh, sick putter. Nice. Good par. Thank you. That was hit pretty well. That's right at it. I think that's pretty good. Pulled a little bit. Okay. It's on the green. Live to fight another day. So there is where Zach ended up. Not bad. Who did he hit it? Oh, it's furry. Wow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not what we're looking for. This is the worst game of guess who I've ever played. Yep, see, it's furry, man. Oh, oh man, that looked good for a while. That's good, though. Thank you, sir. Hey. Very nice. I'll take it. It's a mystery game. It looks like I'm about to lose a lot of money. Well, I need a new bag, some wedges. <laughs> it's going to be compliments of Zach. <laughs> In terms of uh, 69s and whatnot. <laughs> oh boy. It's a struggle. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not going to even worry about it. All right, we got 211. Um, I'm going with the six iron, it's right in between the five and the six. Uh, I, I figure everything's been rolling out, so here we go. Good contact. It almost ran up. I almost got it right. Probably should have been the five, but whatever. So one tip, if you're on a course like this, you need to get the tee in the ground. Find a weed. That weed will have found a spot with water. You just stick it right down in there. Works every time. Wait, what? Why you tell me that? Well, it's a little convenient fact that I didn't want to tell you because we're playing for $1,000 and you're kicking my ass right now. <laughs> uh, just kind of staying out to the right a little bit. But okay, should be sniffing in the green up there. So I've short-sighted myself here. Um, I'm playing like straight hot ass right now. I gotta turn around, let's make this maybe, or at least give myself an easy putt. Come on. And I chunk another one. I chunk another bleeping chip shot. If anybody out there is an expert or a professional, or hell, you may even be a 15 handicap, can you teach me how to chip, please? Anybody, leave me a comment below. Fix this crap, it's terrible. I. About to quit the game of golf. See, that's me overcompensating. Yeah. 
Oh, that's painfully slow. I am, uh, I'm about to quit YouTube. Well, I won't let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's entertainment, man. Is this a par four? Or... <laughs> I don't was know, Was that buddy. a par four? I, that was a par four. Oh. It's a fantastic, yeah, you birdied So it. that was a birdie? Yeah. Good call. <laughs> Good call. Oh, well, little, little did I know. <laughs> Well, what do you know? I drove a par four with an iron. <laughs> now, what's ironic about all of this is I started the game of golf on this course, and I'm about to end the game of golf on this course. So, I mean, it's just come full circle. It was really fun playing with you guys. I'm kidding. Let's go. Turn it around. 210. Got to drive this bad boy. Good contact. Kind of out to the right a little bit. Oh, good. It clipped a tree. I mean, came straight down on the tree. Oh, and that's that's bladed. Ooh. Yeah. That one's going to be back there. Hitting off hard pan, grab the club with the biggest bounce that you have. That's a good idea. Excellent. All right, Zach, go ahead and chip this in. Do it for on the fringe. Oh. Well, that was a good run. Oh, that oh. was. I'll give you the birdie. Yeah, thanks. So I'm gonna use the trick that Zach taught me and um, I need to find a T. For... And I'm gonna put it in the weed. I'm gonna put it in the weed. Let's see if it works. Okay, that works. I wouldn't lie to you, my friend. I lie to you, my friend. Nice tip. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting par four here. Um, turns right basically I know there's water from number one but uh, not much room for error I'm gonna go iron here hopefully it's not too much please oh Oh, oh! So I'm gonna channel my inner golf sidekick. Shout out to Golf Sidekick. Um, great channel. If you haven't seen it before, go check it out. Anyways, I'm gonna try play the smart. Cut the hole in half. It's 240 yards or so. We're gonna go 120, 120, and see what happens. Or thin the living daylights out of it. I think I just had blind squirrel nut on me there. So after Zach got nutted on by a squirrel, um, I want to show the bunker here. This is actually a real bunker. I mean, I don't see a rake, but it's a play out of it. You can play out of it, I guess. All right. Well, I've uh, pretty much lost the match, uh, deflated, but uh, we got 81 yards to the stick. Just to get something good in there. Maybe something so I don't quit the game. Of course it hits a tree. Golly, I just cannot get a break today. All right, so there is my ball. Um, clearly I am on the Old Town Road, AKA the cart path. Um, probably only gonna have about 40 yards in, but I'm gonna take relief so I can go to the nearest point of relief, which is not this way. It's gonna be that way, but no closer to the hole. So I just need to make sure that I go back um, I'm going to take a club length off of this cart path um, and remember I can get to where I have to I have to be able to have a good stance and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, here I am just got a little flip wedge um, hopefully I can get it to stop we'll see All right, that's not bad at all. Uh, 12 feet, maybe? I don't know. Oh, coming in hot. Yeah. Oh, 
There it is. Get off the green. Go in. <laughs> Wedge, that thing's been working all day. Oh. Oh. I still Money. That's back to back to back. Man. Ooh wee. Hole number nine, par three, uh, 124. Okay, wait. So I just noticed that there's an overhanging tree right where you're supposed to hit the ball. Um, it's great golf course architecture, sir. Yes, it forces you to hit a cut. I'm not sure how to do that with a wedge, uh, but so I'm going to have to flight it. So here we go. And I pulled it. Well, I'm on the Old Town Road again, so I'll get a little relief, but we'll see. Uh, I could go for some penetration right now. Well, I mean, I'm getting it from the course. I'd like to give it, so. <sighs> Flared it out to the right. God forbid I hit a green regulation from a 24 yards out. Good run at it, sir. Yeah. Oh, I played terribly. I apologize for the poor quality there, but we got more coming up because I'm challenging him to a rematch right now. Double or nothing. I'm not paying you anything until you accept this, so I just hope you understand that. Well, we don't know who won yet, sir. I just shot a 14 over on nine holes. I don't even care if by handicap I win, I don't win this shit. So anyways, subscribe to the channel and uh, see if we uh, don't do this again. Maybe I'll make it a competitive match next time. Yeah, definitely. Nice.